tulikuwa na habari kwamba kulikuwa msukumo mkubwa msukumo mkubwa kiambiwa msipo jihadhari msipo jikakamua mjue kuna jamaa ameenda kwa mahakama national dialogue committee tulifanya report tukapeleka bunge ikapitishwa bunge tukapelekea mzee Raila Odinga na tukapelekea rais William Ruto na hiyo report inakuwa implemented vile tuliipitisha bunge jana niliona hata mtu kama Eugene Wamalwa mwenye alikataa kutia sahihi hiyo report anasema ati hatuna goodwill what greater goodwill did we need other than those of us in Kenya kwanza tuliweka sahihi sisi wote wale waazimio Eugene akasema ataweka sahihi sababu bei ya unga iko juu bei ya sukari iko juu sasa huyu medical insuri na rais William Ruto wametupea subsidies fertilizer bei ya unga Eugene akikataa kutia sahihi ilikuwa mbili na kumi. leo unga ni mia, ishirini, mia na kumi hata nimeona ingine ya 103 huko Nairobi sukari yenye ilikuwa 460 a kilo saa hii for 2 kilos saa hii sukari ni 240 kilo mbili mia, ishirini, kilo moja. sasa huyo Eugene ndiye anatuambia ati hatuna nia nzuri ya kutekeleza ile report ya NADCO na want to confirm the nadco report as adopted by parliament will be implemented and we have all the goodwill to implement that report in the manner it was passed we have already published bills the ibc bill to reconstitute a new commission is already published and as soon as we reopen parliament in another one week we shall begin work on that bill and all the other bills that we have published so kalonzo azikuwa na wasiwasi ati kuna bill haitapitishwa ile koti imesimamisha ama imeweka injunction kidogo hiyo ni mambo ambayo tutapambana nayo kotini kalonzo should know together with Eugene and their friends even the president agenda ya affordable housing wakati walipeleka finance bill kotini rais akusema mambo mengine alienda kotini na serikali ikaenda ikatetea bile yake kotini ile dosari koti iliona kwa sheria rais akarudisha bunge tukatengeneza kwa bunge na tukaunda sheria mpya so let me just tell our colleagues on the other side that if the court has stopped implementation of any section of the nadco report that has nothing to do with the kenya kwanza government but since we want to be faithful to our constitution and we respect the independence of the judiciary we shall face all challenges that have been raised by the courts address them in the right manner in the courts not at throwing words at each other not at pointing fingers at each other accusing each other of not having goodwill of acting in bad faith and i want to assure them that we shall continue to act in good faith and with the goodwill required to implement the nadco report